Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here's some of the stories coming up on today's show. Another busy summer season is here. And along with spending time out in your backyard and loading up the vehicle for your next trip out to the lake, RCMP are reminding you to protect your valuables. Back in 2007, leader and area residents raised the profile of the crumbling Highway 32 in southwest Saskatchewan through the creation of a pothole calendar. It was a packed gymnasium as the Weimark School celebrated its centennial. Thanks for joining us here today. With increased traffic flow throughout communities this time of the year, RCMP are reminding you to lock your doors and keep criminals at bay. Another busy summer season is here. And along with spending time out in your backyard and loading up the vehicle for your next trip out to the lake, RCMP are reminding you to protect your valuables. We continue to get calls of uh, people um, you know, going around through the night, pulling on car doors and checking to see if they're unlocked. And uh, in many cases, which are reported to us, vehicles are left unlocked and people, uh, the victims, find their belongings missing the following morning. You know, the world nowadays is different than it might have been 30, 40 years ago. It's important to lock your doors, protect your property, take measures to make sure that you're not going to be victimized by uh, breaking enters or thefts. Uh, I mean, that even extends to uh, securing your personal items, like leaving a lawnmower or bicycles out in your front yard. We've seen those walk away. In addition, the RCMP are advising you to obey the rules of the road. With more vehicles out on the roadways this time of the year, safety should be top of mind. Uh, holidays coming up, frontier days are, you know, nearing. It's, it's very important for people to, to be mindful of their speed um, and obviously drinking and driving. Being the summer month, uh, we're moving into patio season here. I just like to remind people to uh, plan responsibly, plan a safe ride home, and plan ahead. Uh, there's really, nowadays there's no excuse for drinking and driving. Unfortunately, we still see it, you know, often here in our city. By simply taking a few extra precautions, we can all ensure the summer season is crime-free and enjoyable for everyone. Southwest TV News is hitting the road with our annual Summer Around the Southwest Tour, covering a variety of exciting events across the region. The Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. As with any popular trend comes a sequel, as is the case with the 2014 Leader Pothole Calendar. Back in 2007, Leader and area residents raised the profile of the crumbling Highway 32 in southwest Saskatchewan through the creation of a pothole calendar. The 12-month pictorial featuring local business people posing alongside the highway raised a few eyebrows and was even addressed in the Saskatchewan Legislature. Highway 32 has since been fixed. However, the demand for a sequel calendar has spurred a 2014 edition. Very much surprised, very much. Like, this has been done before. Uh, why this one was selected as being so unique, I wasn't really sure. All I can think of is everybody in the world has a road they love to hate. And I think that's maybe why it caught on. But it, uh, it certainly didn't hurt when it got brought up in the legislature, but <laughs> it certainly caught on. Like, we had phone calls from the Ukraine from the press they're like how do we go about doing that our roads are really bad here too <laughs> money raised from the calendar and other items such as bumper stickers and postcards helped the leader lions club with a variety of local projects and we ended up we sold 3,000 calendars all around the world we raised sixty thousand uh, dollars we used the funds to put uh, part of the roof on the new community hall and, uh, and every year the lions club sits down and decide where they're going to spend their money in the community whether it's the ball diamonds the hall or uh, audio equipment for wherever and they base that they make their decisions on it so yeah it goes into the community it's well spent 
Anyone interested in buying the 2014 version of the Pothole Calendar can contact Stook Pharmacy and Leader or go online. <music> 2014 is a year of celebration for many communities and other organizations across the Southwest. And the Weimark School is also marking its centennial. This Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest feature is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. It was a packed gymnasium as the Weimark School celebrated its centennial. The evening showcase included a variety of performances, taking the crowd through the decades from 1910 through the present. While giving students and staff the opportunity to show off their acting and singing talents. Jake Knelson was the guest speaker for the night, reflecting on his years as a student, teacher, and principal at Weimark School. A community he's proud to call home and happy to be back to mark the school's centennial. It's good for the kids to, uh, to see the change that has taken place in education. It's good for all of us to look back and, and uh, note the uh, uh, tremendous progress that comes and, and through that, through that change, uh, schools have to be very forward-looking to, to be part of that, to not get swept away in the uh, volume of material and new things that come along. Those in attendance also had a chance to walk down memory lane while looking through old photographs and meeting up with former classmates. Oh, it's pretty exciting. The school's been here a long time. Um, you know, a lot of people aren't here anymore, but uh, uh, my dad, he's uh, 96, and he still talks about the Warwick School and when he was on the board, and, and uh, Frank Kaler and uh, a few of the people like that have been, you know, uh, helping out over the years. And it's been a long ride. Uh, some of the teachers are, you know, you, you think back on them and stuff like that. They're uh, fantastic teachers we always had in here. A celebration which has been in the planning for a number of months, from the on-stage performances to the many pieces of memorabilia up for sale. So they've been working on art pieces and there's some in here and each student, each class was given a decade or an artist to um, sort of give a response to. We've also made a cookbook that they're selling this evening and uh, a Gasper Games, which was one of our former students, who, our former teachers who passed away two years ago. We created a game book of phys ed games that people can buy too. And as the crowd reminisced of days gone by, the centennial cake was the finale of the night, with many offering these greetings to mark the occasion. Hi, I'm Eleanor. Happy 100th birthday, Weimark School. Hi, I'm Sylvia Neufeld. Happy 100th, Weimark. Happy 100th, Weimark School. <laughs> Weimark School has approximately 133 students in grades K through 9 and is located 20 minutes south of Swift Current. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.